Hello and welcome to this video which provides a brief introduction to the teaching dossier. This video was developed for instructors at the University of British Columbia, but some of the information will be pertinent to a broader audience. My name is Dr. Izebu Iqbal and I'm an educational developer at the Centre for Teaching, Learning and Technology. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm recording this video on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam peoples. The objectives of this video are that by the end, you should be able to define a teaching dossier, list three or more purposes of a dossier, list common sections of a teaching dossier, and also identify strategies to advance your own dossier development. Let's start with the definition. A teaching dossier is a document that contains materials, reflections, and selected samples that an instructor has collected over a period of time and that are representative of their achievements in teaching. I like this definition. A teaching dossier is strategic teaching documentation. Indeed it is. What about the purposes of a dossier? There are many. These include to demonstrate teaching effectiveness in the tenure and promotion process. It's used in award nominations. It's often a component of a job application, and it also supports your reflective teaching practice. Next, I want to show some of the common sections of a dossier. A teaching dossier often includes the following major sections a teaching philosophy statement, a description of your teaching activities, a section demonstrating your teaching effectiveness and reflections on teaching, a section that includes an educational leadership statement uh, and a description of the activities. And this is especially the case if you are an educational leadership faculty member or working towards that role. And Another section that's often seen now is a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. People often ask what they should include in their dossier. And regardless of your appointment type, but especially if you're a candidate for the Associate Professor of Teaching or the Professor of Teaching, you can see the SAC guide, the Senior Appointments Committee guide. And specifically, see Appendix 1, section 4 and section 4.2 for some really helpful information. So now that we've looked briefly at the content of the dossier, let's switch to some strategies for starting your dossier. A few strategies include determining your dossier's purpose and audience. Start there and you'll craft it accordingly. You want to collect materials for your dossier on an ongoing basis. You want to give yourself plenty of time to develop your dossier. It's also really helpful to inquire about the norms and expectations within your context. And you can find out more information by asking colleagues, your department head, or checking in with a faculty mentor. If you are a UBC faculty member and you're ready to create or further develop your dossier, there are many resources available to you. These include the teaching portfolio section of the CTLT website, the teaching dossier self-assessment tool, the SAC guide, one-on-one -on -one consultations with an educational consultant at CTLT, and also there are mentors available through LNET, the Educational Leadership Network at UBC. Thank you so much for your interest in learning more about teaching dossiers.